These are the Rogue Max, my favorite video glasses. Launched earlier this year, I showed them to you on the channel and these I actually use in order to watch movies and to bring them out and about when I'm traveling. Very cool. But now a big problem has been solved with this here. This is the Rocket Station. Finally, it is going to come out now for $129. And what is this? Well, this device is an Android TV 12 that you can bring anywhere. So you connect this with this here and you have a complete entertainment solution. Before, you could only, well, connect this to your Android phone, but only if it was a certain kind of phone. It didn't work with all phones. And for people who only had an iPhone, well, they had kind of bad luck. Now, this here, it solves all of these problems, $129 Android TV 12 with all the thousands of apps wherever you go with 5,000 milliampere hours battery will last for hours. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if you are excited about immersive technology, just like this one here, then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. Before we get into this, for full transparency, Rokit has reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to make a video about the Rokit station. So this is a sponsored video. However, I only accept sponsored videos if I believe that the products are exciting for you and if I can say whatever I want. And I don't accept these kind of videos if I don't like the product. So that already shows you, yes, I do like this product. However, I can say all the positive and the negative things that I want, and I will do so in this video. With this out of the way, let's directly get into it. This is the Rokit station. You can pre-order it right now until 31st of August for $129. Later, it's going to cost $139. Dollars. You can also buy this directly together with the Rokit Max for $529 and later it's going to cost $549 after the pre-order phase is over. So yeah, what is this? This here will give lots of content to your Rokit Max. So again, as I told you in the beginning, first of all, before when this was not there yet, you had to connect this to certain kind of Android phones. Only the top tier Android phones could be used and all the iPhone users basically had bad luck. Now you get this here, the Rokit Station. This is a little Android TV and this is the first Android TV that was licensed for an AR headset. So this here is a world premiere. So how does it work? Well, you connect this here via the cable that comes with it. We're going to do the unboxing um, in a moment here in this video. So you directly connect it to your Rokit Max and then you can use it. You can use the Rokit Max just like a huge Android TV that you can bring anywhere. And well, you would control it here with this little control unit. Here's a click in the, in the middle and you have the directional buttons. You have a home button, back button, app button, and so on and so forth. You have a volume rocker and you have on off button and you can charge it at the same time with USB-C. And this here is mini HDMI. So really nice. But apart from this, this also has a built-in Chromecast. So you can basically cast anything to it and watch it on your Rocket Max. And this is also a power bank. <laughs> so if you want to charge your phone with this, you could. So lots of things that you can do with the Rocket Station. Before we get into all these functions, let's check out what's in the box. And this is how the Rocket Max arrives at your doorstep. As you can tell, Rocket knows a thing or two about product design. This looks very cool. When you open this for the first time, this is what you're gonna see. It's a box full of cables and the Rokit station. So let's check out the box. Here we have an HDMI cable. Then we have a USB-C cable. And we're going to have some manuals. Who's reading those manuals? Not many people, I believe. But if you need 
You can. <laughs> okay, so this is the USB-C cable. This is for charging the device. And the other cable is important to connect the Rokit station to your Rokit Max. USB-C on one side and the other is mini HDMI or is it micro? It's the small one. It fits. It fits the port of the Rokit station. Okay, cool. So let's get to the main event, the Rokit station. And as you can tell, this is the same kind of uh, metallic blue that we also see with the Rokit Max. So it is obviously a great match. Here we have the buttons, back button, home button, app button, and another menu button here. And um, yeah, that's, that's cool. So you can use Android TV without a problem. Let's have a look at the sides of the device. So on this side, we have a volume rocker, of course, very important. And on the other side, we have the on off button and a few LEDs. Yeah, okay, so you simply get a long press, the on button, obviously to turn it on. Yes, so some LEDs here on the side as well. And on the bottom, we have the USB C port, and that is for charging the device. And there is the micro HDMI port. Yes, it's micro HDMI, not mini. Very nice hardware, very good looking. But now let's check out the device in action. Now, this is a really well designed piece of technology. Check it out. In my opinion, it looks really cool, is very small, fits into your hand perfectly. And yeah, you can. Easily use it directly here. You have the, the enter button and the directional pad, and you can also have easy access to all the buttons here. So this is very nice. Check it out in comparison to my Android phone in terms of size. So definitely smaller, something that you can easily bring with you wherever you are to enjoy your portable Android TV number 12. Number 12 as in version 12. Android TV 12 OS. All right, so how does it all work? Well, this is the device. Here you have your HDMI. You got the cable that I showed you in the unboxing. You put it into the port and the USB-C port you put here into your Rokit Max. And then the magic can happen. You put it on, you click on the, the power button and then it starts. And what starts? Well. Android TV and well, I've already gone through the initial setup. Now, what is interesting for the, for the initial setup, they require you to use an Android TV remote and they're also giving that to you. So this is what you also get. And well, you have to pair it once, this, this remote. And well, then you could either, yeah, you can, you don't need to use it or you can keep on using that, right, if you wanted it. So you could, uh, I don't know, leave this in your pocket and simply, um, yeah, use, use Android TV with that remote. However, of course, obviously, you can also simply use the directional buttons. And I've asked um, uh, Rokit why that is, why they also sent you this, and they simply said, okay, this is a requirement from Google, if you want to use Android TV OS, then you need to also have a remote. And well, here it is. Yep. So you can decide: Do you want to use it with the with the remote or simply using the the built-in controls? That is totally up to you. But honestly, I found it was quite nice to also have the remote and being able to control it. Then you could sign in with your Gmail account or you make up a new Gmail account, whatever you want. And well, then you are in Android TV. And if you already own a TV which has Android TV built in, you know exactly exactly what happens, right? You have access to the Google Play Store and you can download any of those hundreds of applications, which is incredible. So you can binge watch your favorite TV shows, you can play your favorite Android games, you can play um, cloud games, you can stream from your PlayStation, from your Xbox, you can use Steam Link, you can uh, use GeForce Now, all this goodness, everything in this here. So this together 
becomes an incredible entertainment center that you can bring wherever you go. Now, you already know that I really like these glasses. These are my favorite video glasses. And if you haven't done so yet, you can rewatch my review here. So what is good about this? Let me um, sum it up again. It's a very nice, huge screen with OLED colors. And the audio is loud enough so that you don't actually need to use some external audio device. It's very loud. And what is, in my opinion, one of the best features here is that I don't need to wear my glasses within the headset because this has diopter adjustment. Let me show it to you here. So I simply can set up my diopter and don't need to wear my glasses, but still I see a huge screen here, perfectly sharp with good audio. And now thanks to this, well, I can watch any kind of video that I would like to watch. And I did so. When I got this, I binge watched all of the third season of Star Trek Picard and I simply loved it. Such a great experience and I'm really glad that they're launching this. So what can you actually install here? Well, any Android apps that are in the Google Play Store for Android TV and there are so many. Yeah, I'm I'm here on the German uh, store and yeah, I see the German channel stuff, but obviously <laughs> there's also international stuff. Disney Plus, TED, Apple TV, and so on and so forth. Amazon, of course. Yeah, all the good stuff that you like to watch. Um, music, Spotify, Amazon Music, Tune In, some karaoke stuff. Yeah, all the stuff. Games, Badland, what, what is the Crossy Road, Dead Trigger, <laughs> all kinds of stuff, simply all kind of stuff that you know from your TV, from your Android TV that you can now use on this device, right? So you will find so much good stuff. And also, if you like um, gaming, what you can do, you can connect your Bluetooth controller and I connected my PlayStation 4 controller to this device wirelessly and then you could either download the Android games that you can find here, all kind of games that you can find in the store, Badland, Riptide, Crossy Road. I'm seeing so many, so many stuff here right now. Um, or you would stream from the cloud or from your local game machine, right? So if you want to play PlayStation 5, there is PS Play, Xbox Play, there are two. There is um, Steam Link if you want to play um, PC titles from your Steam console or from your, from your Steam library. And there's GeForce Now. So yeah, you can simply get your game on two lying in your bed and simply using your controller. It is so good, so well done. And yeah, it simply works. So I'm really glad that actually they license Android TV to this instead of doing yeah, some kind of their own system where you wouldn't find apps. It wouldn't make sense, right? So here it's simply Android TV, hundreds of hundreds of apps on this and you can find your favorite app and simply download it and play it. This has 32 gigabyte of um, storage on board. So this is enough for for these kind of like apps in order to watch your movies or or play some games or to stream something from the cloud. However, I also told you that I will also tell you what in my opinion, well, is not perfect, right? So this is only uh, usable when you have internet. Makes sense, right? It's a streaming, it's a little streaming device. So this is not for downloading um, videos. This is not for downloading movies and playing them in the airplane when you don't have internet, right? So this is simply like an Android TV, you need internet. This is important to understand. Also, all kinds of apps that you could think of are there, but there's one notable absence and that is Netflix. And, and I asked Rokit, why is not Netflix not here on this device? And they said, well, they're still working with Netflix on the certification. So right now it is not on the system, but probably in the future. Now, earlier I mentioned that this is not only for playing games and watching movies, but that this is also an Android TV with a built-in Chromecast. So if you want to consume something from another device, 
Like for example, actually um, I could um, use my phone and stream something to this. So if I have any kind of uh, video device or any kind of app that can stream to Chromecast, I can use my phone and yeah, you know, it doesn't need to be an Android phone. It could also be an iPhone, right? To stream to a Chromecast that is built into this device and it works like a charm. So I was simply checking out some, some YouTube video here on this and I simply um, clicked on the streaming icon, chose this device and then I could watch it here on the Rokit Max. Of course, I could also have um, used the YouTube app, which is on here, right? But well, yeah, I had I had the video on here, so I simply streamed it to this. So streaming also works nice here with the Rokit and you have a built-in Chromecast. Very cool, I really like this function. Yeah, and then you even could use this as a power bank. <laughs> but honestly, I don't think I personally would use this as a power bank, right? Since, uh, well, I want to use the 5,000 million per hours for using it to watch movies. But it's still pretty cool that this is a built-in function of the Rokit Station. So what is my conclusion here for the Rokit Station? Well, in my opinion, this is simply the perfect accessory for the Rokit Max. And this makes the Rokit Max even better than it is. I told you that this is already my favorite video headset, right? And it was already great using it together with my phone, but not having to use my phone is so much better because, well, Honestly speaking, uh, when you're using your phone in order to watch a movie, well, then you can't use your phone anymore. And I'm kind of, of a multitasking person. I still sometimes like to check Discord or whatever, even when I'm watching a movie. And now, thanks to the Rocket Station, I can do it. I can watch all of my videos, I can play games, and my phone is not being used. So this is great. And especially for people who are not using an, an Android phone, right? And, and who are wondering, okay, how can I actually make use of the Rokit Max without having to use some adapters to connect it to the iPhone? Well, this is now your solution. So together, you can now buy it together for $529 and you're getting a fantastic entertainment station with Android TV 12 that you can take anywhere. I truly love it. It's a huge screen. It's OLED colors. It is really good audio, very loud, and you have the diopter adjustment. So for $529, you get both of these. And if you already have these for $129, you can pre-order this now. And it's a big recommendation. It's a wonderful piece of hardware. Is it the perfect piece of hardware? Not yet. Right, I'm missing Netflix on this. I hope that Rokit still manages to work it out with, with Netflix so we can get it. And also, well, you cannot really download movies to it like you could on the Netflix or um, Amazon app on your Android phone. So for these kind of scenarios, I would still use my phone when I'm on the plane. But when I have the internet, right, then this is a fantastic solution with all the apps that you need to play games, to get your cloud gaming on, to play all the Android games, super connectivity with Bluetooth, right? You can add any kind of Bluetooth um, input to this, controllers uh, whatsoever. Um, yeah, also um, keyboards and stuff. Yeah, it's Android. It is Android goodness that you can bring anywhere. And yeah, highly recommended for the $129. Yeah, so that's it for the Rocket Station and the Rocket Max. Again, you can pre-order this from today, $129, or together with these Rocket Max, $549. No, $529. Both together, a really cool combination. The link is down in the description of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions about the Rocket Station or the Rocket Max, put them down in the comment section. Either I'm going to answer them or probably Rocket themselves. And if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And I'm looking forward to see you 
in the next episode.